Good morning, welcome to the Mad Witch channel. I thought I would share with you my magical space. Simon, I know, did a video about his desk. Um, so let's go into the, the Mad Witch space. My husband made this. I love, I love bells. I love things that ring. Ding a ding ding. Okay, here we are. So let's start in this corner. Oops, excuse me. I'm having to do it on my phone. So um, this is just one area where I've got books and stuff. There's stuff everywhere. Those tend to be things like pre raffe Mooka, my Beatrix Potter books, anything that's got, um, oh, look at those, there's my Nicolette and Chicolis. I might have to do a video on those one day now I've got them. Oh, um, but anything that's sort of arty based is kind of shoved in there. And then over here is my very comfy, cosy chair. I sit here, do my sewing, sometimes read, um, watching videos, my oracle decks, a collection of soaps in the corner. <laughs> I went through a very small, fa I like scented soaps, but there we go. Anyway, um, various oracle decks and in the corner here is my... Um, Oops, let's just get down here. This is my ancestral altar. It's gone a bit dark in the corner. Sorry. Oh, a load of books. I mean, this is just one bookshelf, but it's filled with predominantly witchy books. Um, I've put no lights on, look. Books yet to be read. Half read books. There's piles of those everywhere. And on the floor is my my little flutter with a few musical instruments, my blood red moon drum flute and lyre, uh, my casket of witchy stuff. I bought that lovely box and I filled it with all my witchy bits. And then next to it, I found in the cellar one of my daughter's old um, art, not art, makeup boxes. And I filled it with all my essential oils. Um, and then we come up to my altar space and there over there is my desk and then you've got all of that is tarot and tarot books and oracles um, so let's see if I can very uh, all good, very unprofessionally Oh, at the top there is my broomstick, my dead man's hats, all sorts of bits and bobs that a witch collects. So I've got an assortment of um, decks here and another assortment of decks here. And this is my Arthurian book shelf. Um, that is my oracles, but bear in mind, quite a few are at my mother-in-law's. Decks that are in bags, odds and sods, not that the decks are odds and sods, but just where they're bigger boxes. I have my Thoth decks, I have my Tarot de Marseille, although I have a whole... Um, uh, box of of my out of print collectible ones that i take around with me because i'm sad like that um my goddess books and various other whatever i'm working on and this is all my herbal stuff and again depleted because i grab things and take them to my mother-in-law's and then various bits and pieces and here is here is my desk. This has never looked so organised and tidy. Um, let's see if I can put a bit of light on the subject. There we go. My lovely Thoth in the corner. Got him off of eBay for an absolute steal. Loved it. Love him. Absolutely love him. Um, 
the printer used to be there but that's gone <laughs> and I've just got books and stuff um so I mean we're now into March so I would I suppose I would ha I I don't realize I'm doing it but I'm constantly turning around my decks so there's Magnificent in the corner um, she was a amazing Christmas present from my husband. A couple, I don't think it was a couple of years ago. I'm sure. She has real eyelashes. I know. She's just. Um, and there is my sort of fae kind of altar. Um, my crystal. One of my crystal balls. This one's. This one's stunning. This is this is not a natural occurrence this has been melted to create this and I, I, lo I love this you can sit and look at this um, and, and move it around especially when the sun gets it and see all sorts of amazing colours and shapes and rainbows and bubbles it's just uh, it's just a really lovely piece and I'm so glad I've got it. Oh, it looks like a little bit of a heart there, look. And again, hubby treated me to this. We bought this from a crystal shop in Swanage that sadly he is now retired. And I'm so, it's such a loss, oops, such a loss that shop because he did fossils and crystals and he used to actually physically go off to the areas of, of, of these you know he used to travel he used to go off and find these um places and um he's in his 80s so he couldn't he could no longer travel um or rather he he wanted to but i don't think his family wanted him to let's get my mug out of the way see i told you i was untidy these are singing crystals tourmaline i put them in a singing bowl I thought they kind of worked well together. I bought this. Oh, years ago from a charity shop. It's got. I don't think I can get in close enough, but there's a there's a lovely lady in there, and I, I this was on one of the altars. I think it was on the um, Aphrodite altar for some time. And look, you know where the melt where things have where the candles melted things are stuck to it now i've got all sorts of bits and bobs in there and i keep a black candle for when i'm when i'm doing either you know some grimoire work or crafting of some description it, i can pull it out and um, to do that another candle from I think this is from home sense but this is the most organized i've ever seen my desk another melted candle <laughs> I've got to do some stuff with my um with my cards. This is what well, this is a few ink pens. Um my Mont Blanc is in there. My cross uh, Lamy and uh, Lamy pen and I think it's a Parker. But a, a few others I've got are now either in my handbag or whatever so this is kind of the art arty bit i suppose i mean this is where my laptop would sit um I, i've got things stuffed in here flowers look that i've been whoops flowers that i've been pressing this lovely old book that i i I should rip apart, but I can't. My friend Claire gifted me some books, which I need to pull out and find. Um, it's lovely. I know they're all scrunched up, but I don't mind that somehow. Um, I think that ag adds, not everything has to be precise. <laughs> I opened one of my, um, one of my uh, diaries the other day and found loads of um uh little fuchsia petals in there that i had um forgotten that i'd picked as i went past a bush uh so decks for the month or there's loads um 
you know i'm still working with in my other location um you know i feel like a nomad at the moment but i did pull out the the green witch everyone's favorite i think i made a bag for it years ago um I've, <laughs> it's got little foxes on it and um I fed Ash this morning. He's gone, gone back to, to his den now that he's happy, happily fed. This was gifted to me actually years ago, and I'm I'm so grateful for the people that are generous with their gifts. And um, I think we did a swap because I I I'm that way inclined. But this is a firm favourite amongst witches, and it's mine uh, for the month, along with my tower of the moon garden which i'm really loving i i i was kind of this was one of my betwixt and between decks because sometimes i feel that this deck would you know i, I couldn't decide between this deck and the old path but they are they are different of course all the decks are different but again it's one of those um for me it was one of those I couldn't decide which one I wanted to work with. So now it's time for this one. Um, anyway, you, you know that deck. Um, another one I've pulled out to take with me for study. Oh, I can't do this one handed. Is the <clears throat> Tower of the Spirit um, and the book. Now this deck, I, I swapped my older version with a friend because she didn't like the, the print type on, on it. Um, I don't work with it enough to justify. I would like the old, I, that's just silly. Why do I want both copies when one's quite enough? For goodness sake. I mean, this is a very different death. This is um, very thothy. Um, the book's lovely. The book reads like poetry. I haven't read it cover to cover. I dip into it. You see what I mean by it's very thothy. Thothy. And you get, you know, these extra keywords, which is really nice. Um, but obviously, if you're kind of not sh if you if you don't follow one system, that can also be quite off putting. Um, because it may be that you don't relate to what the card image says. Um, and then what? <laughs> so I suppose you could cut them off. But but anyway, most of you will have seen that deck and that's the book. Um, I, I think it's a really lovely read, but I haven't read it cover to cover. I literally will just... Uh, dip into it and you get these you get more you get the differentry meaning you get this lovely sort of extra bit interpretations and and the symbology it's it's just an it's a nice all-round book and it's if if you want to kind of go deeper with your thought your thought studies or just go deeper with your studies of tarot i don't, I don't think it hurts to layer um meanings and add to what your your knowledge is um I, I will be forever doing that i will jump between systems i want to ground everything in numerology first and foremost um the polish tarot i've had for a long long time sat on my desk haven't done anything with it i think i must have been watching um magdalena um, from the Wolf of Coins to have this in my collection. It's Pippish. I think it's, I love the colour palette on it. I think that's what I like about it actually the most. I'm not in the mood at the moment for heavy decks. Um, I'm heavily back into my sewing. Uh, desperately trying to get some stuff finished so I can start some new things. Um, so there we go. So that's that deck. So, and that came with a, a little sheet. Um, 
But anyway, I don't know if I will, how much I will get to use that one. Um, what other decks have I got on my desk? Um, Danielle Barlow is, oh, well, there, I was feeding Ash this morning. What a lovely card to pick. I love her artwork. Um, that looks just like him, actually. I think this is probably one of the few oracles, excuse me, that I could never be without. I, I think it's her, I think it is her artwork, isn't it? It's it's just lovely. I'm sure it's it is Daniel Art. Daniel Barlow, isn't it? Because she's also the artist of the uh, the Witch's Wisdom. Yeah, ninety percent sure I'm right. But if I'm wrong, I apologise in advance because, well, it's menopause, and I should know. But I'm, I'm I am sure. Uh, what else have I got? I could just I just want to sit here and look at these cards and I, it's not really the really the point of this exercise. We're not doing walkthroughs. So I might very quickly, if I get chance, add on to this my other desk, which is my um sewing desk. But that's in an that is in a mess too. Um Which is tarot, and I'm trying to remember who it's by because it's the famous, the famous author, and for the life of me, the name escapes me. Um, I don't. Again, I don't use this one a huge amount, but that picture that I've got on the wall, the high priestess, is from this deck. Um. I do you know I'd need to let me pause and see if I can find the book. Here we go. The Witch's um Tarot by Ellen Duggan. I was gonna try I don't know where it tells me about the actual artist. It's bound to be in here. There we go, Mark Evans. So anyway, um I love the backs on this deck. Another, I do like this deck. I'm not always keen, if I'm honest, on, I don't know what the technical term for this is, but where the art, it's some kind of computer image, isn't it? Where the faces are, are, are people, I think, that real people and I'm really not a fan um, at all see that image I don't like it I don't but for some reason I do like this deck so there we go anyway that's really all I've got to share but Simon did I ages ago his deck video his desk video what decks he had on his desk and I hadn't been able to do it because I wasn't able to get to my desk so here you have a very short video um although it's nearly 20 minutes long of my my desk look and this is as tidy as it's ever going to be <laughs> right i might add on my other video of the uh, my sewing desk we'll see so um i'll stop here and uh, pop back in a bit here we are so this is the other desk <laughs> and as you can see it's a bit messier um this is a project i'm working on it's not a project it's a gift it's a it'll be a bag for my sister-in-law she doesn't watch my channel so i don't doesn't matter um my little pin cushion that i made with the quarter inch kexies some bunny rabbits on the go look moss what are you doing in there hmm? say hello and yeah i've got a bag of lace i mean this this is what it looks like box of beads just stuff everywhere lace piles of fabric that i've been 
pulling out and um, pin cushions everywhere and odds and sods. But this is my happy place. Like, there's bags and bags of bits of material down there and and it still isn't enough. It's never enough. And I've got some lovely books. Um, actually, I might pause the video. I know it's not about, um, for those of you who aren't interested in sewing, you might want to probably uh, go. <laughs> but I will just, I've got a couple of books I think would be nice. Oh, and look, all my dear little pins. I've got some of those in my, what's it, bags. But I love these antique looking pins i just think they're so much fun and french french pins <laughs> hold on i decided not to pull them out look they're just there's stacks of things everywhere but i have an embroidery of flowers what else have i got embroidery country garden embroidery country garden is lorna bet Bateman, she's the one that I use to make my um, pin cushion. Uh, that felting animals my mother-in-law gave me. Mary Thomas's Dictionary of Embroidery Stitches. I'm going to have to pull those out. And then you see here I've got the flower fairies um, because I want to eventually start um, doing a fairy piece for one of the grandchildren mystical stitches down there i need to pull some of these out but there you go that's my little pile of yeah bits and bobs anyway there you go that's my video thank you for watching take care bye